What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna try to help reduce that nightmare of when your board gets stolen or gets lost, and I got an idea on how to get that board back. Now the first tip that I got for you guys is when you have a snowboard, ideally you have an identifier. Essentially what that means is that somebody could just accidentally grab my board and instantly know this isn't their board because they don't have a Benetech sticker. So that's pretty important. But the second big thing about having an identifier, which is like a sticker, is being able to find the snowboard. So let's say that we got this crazy crowd around us and I can like oh, I think that's my snowboard. Well, how do I identify that it's my snowboard versus somebody who has this exact same snowboard? Sometimes we buy the sick popular board and 100 people have them, so how do we know? So one of the first things I would suggest when it comes to your snowboard and trying to find it slash get it back is making sure you have an identifier, such as a sticker. If you guys are interested in picking up a sticker, link in the description. Okay, so I have this theory and I wanna try it out. So what I've done last night is I actually put an Apple AirTag underneath my bindings and hope that I can give myself a fighting chance if this board gets stolen. So what we're gonna do is my boy Sean here is gonna go hide my snowboard. I'm gonna pull out my phone and see if I can actually find the snowboard. Now, for $25, it might be able to help me recover my snowboard. I don't think it's a guaranteed 100% I'm gonna get my snowboard back, but I think if I can give myself a slight chance of getting a stolen snowboard back, totally worth it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually see if it works. Walk away, walk away. I'm gonna make this a legit video. So he is gonna go hide it. He knows where it is because I want to make sure that my board isn't actually stolen, but we're gonna use the Apple AirTag and the Apple phone to be able to try to find it. So hopefully this works because if it does, it's kind of a game changer. So last night what I did is I hooked up the Apple AirTag to my phone, called it snowboard, and then I hot glued it to my binding with the thought of keeping it waterproof, as well as actually attached to the bottom of my binding so the air tag is squished between my binding and the board, also in hopes that no one knows that there is an actual air tag in there. Because if you knew there was an air tag pocket and you check the pocket and you throw the air tag out, then it's rendered useless, right? So the whole goal is to not let anybody know I have it. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the app. We're gonna start walking around and we're gonna try to find our Apple AirTag. So what it's saying right now is trying to search for, search for a signal. It says move to a different location. So we're gonna walk around and try to f at least see if this thing will actually pick it up. Now, now honestly, I don't think this is a 100% guaranteed I think this is a giving ourselves an opportunity to actually work, but I don't think it's 100% guaranteed. So the way I think these Apple AirTags work is like an iPhone will get in proximity to the AirTag and then like kind of notify me. So if you take your snowboard and somebody throws it in the woods, might not get it back. But if it's put somewhere else in somebody's car or put like in a building or at somebody's hotel room, eventually it should update. That's at least in theory. So another preventative measure is getting a snowboard lock it's not a bad idea to have a snowboard lock if you're really concerned about it and somebody could snip that snowboard and really stole it steal it but at the same time are they really putting that much effort to get your snowboard or are they just going to grab somebody else's so if you really want your snowboard to be protected i would definitely do an apple air tag as well as use a lock mechanism and then make sure the code is not some kind of funny joke try to make a code like an actual code that people wouldn't know 
Unfortunately, we're just walking around trying to connect an Apple AirTag. That's, uh, it's not connecting at this moment. And obviously I'm not asking for help from Sean. Okay, so it looks like we're onto something here. So it says that this is me and this is my AirTag, I'm pretty sure. So Copper Mountain two minutes ago, directions. But I think the directions aren't gonna work that sick because that, but we're at Jackson, it's over here. So, so what we're gonna do is we're going to walk towards past Starbucks. That's where we're gonna go. And good thing I have an identifier. Good thing my snowboard has like my Bennett Tech stickers. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel at all, you can pick up Bennett Tech stickers. I got a bunch of stickers that are gonna be linked in the description. Got hoodies, all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, let's see if we can actually find this snowboard. I'm optimistic. So it did take about 15 minutes for the, the air tag to actually connect. Funny thing is not too long ago, uh, we were over here. And the emotional wreck of actually having your board stolen is such a bummer, right? You're just like, dude, I love that snowboard. I don't wanna go buy a new snowboard. I wanna go ride tomorrow and not just be bummed, right? So we're walking closer and closer. Hopefully this actually works. If it doesn't work, that'd be a bummer because then I, I actually lost my snowboard. Good thing I didn't have some random person hide it. Okay, gave me a new option. Find snowboard, trying for signal, try to move to a different location. Oh, there it is. Uh, signal weak, try to move to a different location. Oh, 20 feet, 21, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. We found the snowboard. We found it. All right, to recap, we were actually able to find the snowboard. The challenge is it took about 15 to 20 minutes for the actual air tag to connect to the phone. Once it did connect, I was able to generically kind of identify where it was. I knew that it was kind of over by this building in this area. And then I had to get within about 50 feet of the app, actual app, like the, I had to get within 50 feet of the actual air tag slash my snowboard. So that's kind of the challenge of it is you, it may increase your chances of getting your snowboard back by 10, 15, 20%. But for $25, it's a heck of a deal to actually have a fighting chance or else you're literally just walking around and just trying to find your snowboard and you literally have no idea where it could be. So in my eyes, the $25 is totally worth it. But let me know in the comments below, do you guys think it's worth it? Also, do you have any other tactics that I may have missed? Definitely let me know down below. So on that note, guys, thank you guys so much for joining. If you want to support the channel, definitely check out the link in the description below. We got some awesome things. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the content, definitely join my Discord or join my live streams every single Tuesday. So on that note, guys, nothing but love. We out.